What's up guys, TC here, and welcome to another episode of Starbound Nightly. Today I have a lot of really cool stuff to show you guys. Uh, first up, we have a brand new inventory tab in our inventory. And this is um, particularly for furniture, which this is really nice. So essentially we have just gained 50% more inventory space. But what's even better is that this is this one's particularly for furniture. So now it's not cluttering up your inventory anymore. And anything that's like a placeable object counts as furniture. So all your furniture would go here, but that also includes things like wiring and lights and doors and such. And uh, we also have a really cool new sorting button down here, which if you see, my inventory is kind of scattered about right now. If we click this, it brings it nice in line here, very nice. Uh, so moving on to the new furniture, which we have a lot of new sets to cover today. Up first over here is the new cabin set, and this is kind of like a cabin in the woods type theme. We have a cabin bunk bed, cabin lamp, chair, desk, a cool little cabin stove over here, and this little uh, cabin ornament. It's like a, a moose uh, rack. It's very cool looking. Uh, I definitely love the feel, this, the the vibe we get here. Uh, moving on, we also have a really cool seashell set, which this is the sea bed, sea chair, sea lamp, uh, seaweed pot, and the coral mirror. Which these actually go really well together. Actually, I mean it's kind of girly, but I like it. And then the last set over here, I also really love this, is the retro sci-fi set. So we have a retro sci-fi chair, table, lamp, cabinet. We have this is a TV actually, believe it or not. And this is a bed. It's a vertical bed, which actually is the first one in the game which I'm really excited about this because I've been wanting to make like a, a healing tank where you uh, put healing water with a bed in it and now you can so now you get two healing things here uh, and you're in your bed so you can make these like little vertical healing tanks uh, to really speed up the rate which you heal so you can put these in your base very good uh, so up next I'm gonna hop over to the outpost real quick alright so this is what I was coming to the outpost for is frog furnishings and this is something I didn't bring up in the last episode with with all this new furniture we have this is where we're going to be buying it. You don't just collect it in the wild anymore. Now you can come over to this guy in the outpost and you can buy it. So you can see here, he has it only has like one set available, right? That's because every 24 hours, Frog Furnishing rotates what he has for sale. So today, the sandstone set is for sale, but tomorrow it might be the seashell set or any of the other ones, right? So that's really useful. So the other big part I want to show you guys, which is actually uh, one of my favorite changes, is in the way ore generates. So let's hop over to there real quick. What's up guys, TC here, and we're back, and now we're underground, and I wanted to point out something that's really cool here, and if you look very closely right now in the background, you're going to see that we have ore generating on the background. So let me put my uh, my glow stuff on here so we can see exactly what's going on here, because this is really cool. Uh, here we go. Look in the background, you'll see there's actually ore generating on the back walls and not just in the foreground anymore, and it's all kinds of ores. Everything uh, you can find in the foreground, you can find in the background now, and uh, I think this is a much much uh, better look and it it feels like a lot of depth in the game you know like it feels like there's uh, like you're actually underground now I think before it was a little bit barren and so now with the ore in the background as well uh, it really adds a good sense of just like where you are so uh, that's all I have for you guys today hope you enjoyed it please rate like comment subscribe and I'll talk to y'all later